everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, and today's video is gonna feature some really cute summer to fall transition outfit ideas. The summer to fall transition can be a very awkward weather period, and so sometimes it's hard to come up with outfit ideas when you wanna kinda dress in that fall mold, but it's still a little warm outside or the weather is unpredictable. If that's the case for you, I got some great ideas for you all today. So if you are trying to slay for your summer to fall transition, you're gonna love today's video. I know for me, I've been feeling like getting dressed lately. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it motivates me to wanna do more and just kinda wanna live a little. So your girl has been in the mood to get cute lately. So if you wanna get cute and have some really great ideas for that summer to fall transition, let's get into today's video. I got a lot of outfits and they are awesome. Alrighty, I am so ready to get into today's video, but before I do, here's a word from today's video sponsor, Native. Today's video is sponsored by Native. One of the most common compliments I get is how good and fresh I smell, and honestly, I love that. And I have to credit my daily hygiene routine, which always includes Native. I start every day with their amazing body washes, then I love to layer my scents by then following up with their deodorant. And in my opinion, it really is the best combination for smelling fresh all day. It was about a year ago that I decided to make the switch to aluminum-free deodorant, and that's when I actually discovered Native. Their deodorants are aluminum-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. And best of all, they provide up to 72 hours of odor protection, which I need and I love. My current favorites in the classic deodorants are Citrus and Herbal Musk because it's an intriguing scent that reminds me of the warmth of fall. I'm also loving the powder and cotton scent. It smells clean and fresh and I love getting notes of it as I move throughout my day. And if you're looking for the perfect autumn scent, vanilla and sandalwood is wonderful. It's deep, it's woody, but also a little sweet. Whatever your scent preferences may be, Native has something for you. Native also has a sensitive range, which gives you even more options. And if you think Native only does deodorant and body wash, think again. They have so many other amazing products that you definitely should check out. Click the link in the description and use my discount code 10 ways 3 to get over 33% off your order of Native's classic deodorant starter pack. Normally the starter pack is around $39 for three, but with my link, you'll get it for $27. That's over 33% off. Click that link and see what Native has to offer. Now let's get into today's video. Alrighty folks, here is my first look in the video. And honestly, I wanted to start off with a cardigan because I really think cardigans are one of the best transitional pieces that you can have in your wardrobe for summer to fall transition. It's such a great layering piece and you can get them solid printed and you can certainly play around with them. I love to mix prints with my cardigans and things like that. In this look, I created a very polished, clean outfit and I am loving it. If you work in an office environment, this outfit is for you, okay? Because this is something you can wear to work and look super, super polished and clean cut. But you can also wear this to church as well if your church allows you to wear pants. But I'm feeling the look, so let's get into it. I'm wearing my white Forever 21 button down bodysuit. This is a short sleeve bodysuit. So this is great for those who live in climates where it's still kind of warm during the fall transition like me. And so this is ideal because I can always pull off this cardigan and just have on like a short sleeve button down. I paired it with my black trousers from Forever 21. These are some of the best trousers I've ever purchased. And for the price, baby, get these trousers anyway. On top, I paired it with this printed cardigan from Shein. And talk about a good Shein find. This cardigan, the quality is top notch. I love it. This is like almost as good as some cardigans that I bought from Nordstrom. So I'm loving this cardigan. It does come in plus size and regular size, so I'll link both for you all. And then on the feet, to finish it off, I threw on my color blocked um, loafers. These are by Dolce Vita. And you recently saw these in my fall shoe haul. And just threw in a simple bag, but what a clean cut, nice transitional look to start with. I'm really, really liking this look. And you can definitely do something like this with black jeans as well. You can do regular jeans, but like I said, cardigans, a great way to go for your fall transition. Make sure you have a couple in your wardrobe. Now let's go ahead and get into another look. Okay, here is my next summer to fall transition outfit. And this look is definitely giving what it's supposed to give. I'm wearing an oversized white shirt from Fashion Nova and I love an oversized white shirt 
during this time of year because I think it's just great for that fall transition. You can wear it open almost as outerwear or you can tuck it in like I did. On the bottom I'm wearing this really cute cargo denim maxi skirt and this skirt can rival skirts from Revolve, Reformation or anywhere where you can find luxury brands but it is from Fashion Nova and it is so nice. It has really large cargo pockets. It has some distressing. I just love this skirt and it's just going to be heavily rotated during the fall transition because I love it a lot. But I threw this on with chocolate brown accessories because I think chocolate brown just kind of screams fall. But you can always do tan accessories, black accessories. I threw in a chocolate brown bag, brown belt, and brown boots from Jeffrey Campbell. And I love the way this looks. And this outfit is ideal for a summer to fall day that could be 70 degrees or one that could be 60s or 50s. You can always finish this off with a chocolate brown moto jacket or if it's even cooler in the fall where you live, you can finish this off with a chocolate brown faux leather trench coat. I have one of those that I recently purchased from Fashion Nova. It's so cute. But that would be a great addition on top of this outfit. But I really love this. I think it's such an easy, simple outfit. So if you have a denim skirt, oversized white shirt, pair it with the accessories of your choice. And this is just a really, really nice, chic, you know, kind of street style look. But it's also giving, she looks like she got a little change. Okay, one of those like very simple chic looks. So love this outfit for the summer to fall transition. But we're going to go ahead and move on to another one. Here's another really great summer to fall transition outfit that I am loving. You all know how much I love prints and gingham happens to be one of my favorite prints. I know some people can't stand it, but I'm a gingham girl. I can't lie. It's a little quirky, but I love it. I'm wearing this gingham maxi skirt from ASOS and I love it because the gingham is so big that it's almost like muted in a way. I paired it with this black shirt from Fashion Nova. As you can see, the shirt has white buttons, which kind of complement the black and white skirt. It's a very lightweight shirt. It comes in regular and plus size. I'm wearing it in a size extra large. And I threw it on with my strappy INC heels from Macy's, a simple black bag. And I am loving this outfit, you all. So very easy to recreate if you have a printed skirt, whether that be gingham, plaid, striped, or a polka dot. Throw it on with a nice, simple black shirt, or you can do a white shirt, some heels, and you have a really cute transitional outfit that I really think is cute. And it's not too heavy. That's the best thing about it. But if you needed to add layers to this, you can always do a moto jacket. You can do a denim jacket if you want to throw in some denim with the gingham. You can certainly throw in other options. A trench coat would be cute, like a classic trench coat on top of this would be cute with the black and white. So yeah, a lot of direction you can go if you need more layers for your fall transition. But this will certainly work for a California summer to fall transition day. So yeah, love it. On to the next one. This is another really cute summer to fall transition outfit idea. Vests are one of the hugest trends going on right now. And I've said to y'all years ago when I was rocking sweater vests and getting nasty comments about it, that I love vests. I've always loved vests since I was a kid. I grew up watching shows like Blossom and Punky Brewster and they always used to wear vests. And you know, my grandmother didn't have a lot of money. I, I was a granny's girl and she didn't have like a ton of money to buy me everything that I wanted. So sometimes I wasn't able to get the vest, but sometimes I was. But now that I'm grown, it got a little change. Girl, I love me a good vest. So I found this really cute linen vest from ASOS. It's in like a very muted color, almost like a khaki color. And I thought it would go cute with these zip front wide leg jeans. These are from Fashion Nova. They're like a cute little cargo jean. You've seen these recently in some videos. And I decided to throw on a blazer on top. So I threw on this Letterman blazer, which is from H&M. This blazer is no longer available, but I will link a similar one that I found. And on the feet, because we're kind of doing summer to fall transition, I thought some sandals would be great. So I threw on these platform double strap sandals from Fashion Nova. They give me a little height with the pants so they're not dragging. And yeah, simple bag. I love this look. It's very street chic. It's very casual. It's definitely bringing the fall vibes, but because I have on a vest without a shirt underneath, have on some really cute cargo jeans and some sandals, it's also bringing that summer vibe. So this is a really great combination look for that transitional period. So if you want to recreate this look, wide leg jeans, a vest, a blazer on top, and you can do sandals or slides, or you can go with boots or sneakers as well with this look. Throw in a simple bag, get your hair cute all the vibes y'all know how it is and yeah rock this look 
super easy might seem complicated but it's actually a pretty easy look and yeah i love it on to the next one so here is another one of my favorite go-to outfits when it comes to the summer to fall transition in my opinion a denim on denim look aka the canadian suit is a great way to go for that summer to fall transition I don't know what it is about this look but it just screams fall to me but also we wear a lot of denim during the summer so it still gives that summer vibe and you can always lighten up the pieces with a short sleeve denim shirt a sleeveless denim shirt and some jeans or you can go with denim shorts bermuda shorts a lot of directions you can go with a denim on denim look in this outfit i decided to go denim on denim as you can see <laughs> with the jeans and a long sleeve denim shirt i have on a lucky brand shirt this shirt I purchased in like 2019. It was like a, one of their special collabs or collections that they did. And I paired it with my J. Crew high-waisted trousers. I love these pants, they're so good. And then to lighten things up, I went with clear heels. So that way I'm kind of still giving a summer vibe, like my feet are out, but at the same time, I'm still kind of giving that you know fall type of feel as well i threw in this denim bag because it has like a bunch of different denim colors on it and i thought it would be cute also kind of like a summer you know accessory and yeah i love the way this look turned out and like i said you can do this with any denim pieces that you have denim on denim looks do not need to be exact matches my pieces are not exact matches but i promise you it's still gonna look good you can even go with a dark denim shirt and light jeans you can go with dark jeans and a light denim shirt there's a lot of combinations out there and you can certainly play around with the Canadian tuxedo. But yeah, I love this outfit. So yeah, denim on denim, great way to go for your summer to fall transition. Throw those pieces together, style them with some heels, some boots, whatever works for your climate and step on out girls. Moving on to the next look, I think this might be the first dress in the video, which is rare. I usually do rock a dress or two in every video, but yeah, this dress is so cute. It's a very recent and very good find from Forever 21. And it actually runs in extra small up to XXL on the website. I will link this dress. It's sort of like a parachute style dress. It is made out of that kind of squishy material. It's lined on the inside. It has pockets as you can see. And it has a way that you can zip it and make it shorter. So it has like a little zipper right here above the knee that you can actually make this dress short. So you can wear it as a maxi dress or like a mid-axi type of dress and you can wear it as a mini dress. So super cute. It has like a drawstring to kind of draw up the neck and as you can see, it has strings for the straps. So this is definitely a dress that you can wear during the summer and transition it into the fall like I've done here. And to do that, I paired it with this flannel plaid shirt. This is a cropped plaid shirt. This is also from Forever 21 and it looks so cute on top of the dress as a layering piece. I decided to go with sneakers so I went with my olive green Nike Dunks from Amazon so so cute you can always do green boots with this you can do white sneakers you can do some sandals with this of course as far as the bag I probably would keep this outfit monochrome and throw in something like this this is a little kind of like patent type of green bag from Shein so I'd probably throw this on maybe do it crossbody like this to keep it nice and casual and I love this look I think this is such a cute outfit and yeah, you'll probably see this outfit coming up in a video because I think I'm gonna wear this when my sister and my cousins and I go to Catalina Island. I'll probably wear this outfit because it's just so comfortable and I can always take off this shirt and just tie it around my waist. That's one thing about having good layering pieces for the summer to fall transition is that you can start off with them tied around your waist and then put them on as it gets cooler throughout the day. So a lot of times during that transition period, you'll have days like that where it starts off really warm and sunny and then in the evening it just like drops 30 degrees and you're like freezing so great way to have you know those options is to have layering pieces like cardigans flannel shirts wraps you know cardigans i said that <laughs> blazers things like that are great so yeah super cute little outfit stay tuned for this one you're gonna see it coming up but we're gonna move on Alrighty, this next outfit is definitely bringing the fall tones and I love it and it's kind of unique. Let me tell you guys about it. So these plaid pants are wool blend pants from the ASOS men's section. Now I've told y'all over the years that I lurk in the men's section a lot, especially on websites like ASOS because 
Their men's section has really cool items like these pants. They actually have a matching blazer, but the blazer was a little bit pricey, so I just went with the pants. But they're in this beautiful brown tone, and they have orange running through them with a little bit of taupe. So I paired them with this brown button-down shirt from Fashion Nova, a brown belt, and some cute little brown ballet flats, like a pointy toe flat and a brown bag. And I really, really like this. If you work in an office, this is a great look. But this is also a really cute look for going out to dinner or something like that. If you're going to like a classy restaurant and you don't want to do like a full on suit and you don't want to do like something too tight or whatever, you just want to kind of look cute and put together. This is a really great outfit for something like that as well. And I love it. These men's pants are fitting, honey. I'm just saying, okay? Never sleep on the men's section. I usually get my men's um, pants in a size 33. So I think these are a 33 or a 34, I think one or the other, but they're always a pretty good fit. One thing about men's clothing is that you have to size up to accommodate for our curves. So men's pants don't usually have a butt cut into them or breast into the blazers. So you gotta kinda size up and keep that in consideration when you order from the men's section. But I love these pants and I have quite a few pieces in my wardrobe from the ASOS men section particularly but even when I go to the thrift store or you know sometimes I go to Target I'm not beneath picking up some cute little cargo shorts from the men section or something like that so y'all don't sleep on the men section but yeah really cute little fall outfit here definitely bringing the fall tones and it's light enough that it's great for that transitional period as well because this shirt is super super light and yeah i'll leave these pieces for you all i think this is such a cute look let's move on to another one okay here is my next outfit and i really like this one i don't wear a lot of short skirts but when I do, I tend to style them with boots to make them look a little bit more conservative. And I think this is such a cute look for fall transition. And like I mentioned earlier, cardigans are a great resource when you are looking for items for your fall transition period. It's kind of like an awkward weather period. And so it's great to have good layering pieces that aren't too heavy, especially if you live in a warmer climate like me. And this black cardigan comes in handy. I'm telling you, I wear it so much. But this is from Nordstrom. It's by the brand Tahari. And I got it a while ago, but I will link a similar cardigan for you all. I paired it with my white button down bodysuit from Forever 21. And I threw on this really cute houndstooth mini skirt. Ah, I love this skirt. Like I said, I'm not always into mini skirts, but this one just some, some kind of way is just giving me a vibe. It's definitely giving me the fall feels with the houndstooth because I think of houndstooth as kind of like a fall print. In my opinion, I just think it's such a cute print. And yeah, just kept it very simple. Threw on some little black knee-high booties from Nasty Gal. Simple black bag that y'all gonna see over and over. And yeah, I love this look. Again, great for work, great for church, great for like a, a night out if you dress conservative, if you dress kind of preppy and quirky, perfect look for you. And you can do this look with so many different styles of skirts. You can go with plaid, stripes, you can go with something longer, more of a pencil style skirt that hits the knee. A lot of options out there, but very simple look. White button down, cardigan, printed skirt, boots, nice bag. Baby, it's a look and I love it. So cute, right? I think I need to start wearing more mini skirts, y'all. What do you think? Do I look good? I think so. <laughs> Okay, you all, we are on to another look that I think is great for summer to fall transition. And I wanna apologize if you all hear any background noise. The gardener just happened to show up. And I gotta keep moving, because I got other stuff to do today. So yeah, we are gonna keep on moving. But I love this outfit, so, so, so simple. I think a denim jumpsuit is like an essential for fall. I love them for fall. I style them with blazers, I style them with moto jackets, I style them with bomber jackets. Like you can just dress up or dress down a denim jumpsuit so easily. So I think it's a really, really great item to have in your wardrobe for fall. And it's a great summer to fall transition item because it's just a one piece style up type of piece. You just decide what you're gonna wear as far as outerwear, shoes and accessories and you're out the door. So I love that. And I'm wearing this really cute Good American jumpsuit. Um, I got this in, I think, a size, you know what, I'm not even going to pretend like I know. I don't remember what size I got, because I don't even remember if it runs small, medium, large, extra large, or if it runs in numbers. But I'll have it linked. But I did pick this up from Nordstrom. It is a recent purchase, and I love it. I love the way it fits. It has a little stretch to it. It has these cute little adjustable 
straps on the waist so you can tighten it if you want to and it zips up so it's so easy to put on it's just very comfortable kind of snatches you up i decided to throw on this cream colored cardigan with it this is from shein super affordable excellent quality cardigan y'all i will link it this cardigan is great to have for fall it's a cream or beigey color and it's just so so nice it, it hasn't snagged i've worn it a couple of times um going to the beach at night and it's just it still looks so nice it looks brand new so i'm loving this cardigan i decided to do sneakers with this but you can always dress up a jumpsuit with heels or boots or something like that but i went with these nike debuts in the tan color these are a recent purchase i think i shared these in my fall shoe haul and as far as a bag i'd probably do something that ties in with my sneakers and so for this look, I pulled out my Ralph Lauren little crossbody bag. So this is probably what I would do with this outfit, just to keep it casual, keep it really cute, keep it light. So yeah, I think this is such a great look for summer to fall transition. Jumpsuit, cardigan, if you want to dress it up a little more, you can always go with a blazer on top of your jumpsuit. But yeah, so cute. And yeah, I recommend this. And this jumpsuit does come in regular and plus size. And I think it's so great to have. It's like a flare leg type of fit and flare type of jumpsuit. So cute and a short sleeve. So it's not long sleeve. So that's another thing that makes this great for that summer to fall transition period. So, so cute, right? What do you guys think? Let's move on to another look. So here's another outfit that certainly fits in with my summer to fall transitional style. I'm wearing basically a leather on leather type of look, but I'm going to tell you why this is a really great transitional outfit. So I'm wearing this faux leather maxi skirt from ASOS. It is a cargo skirt. It has these really cool pockets. It has a drawstring like on the pockets and it also has a drawstring here on the waist. It's a lightweight faux leather skirt. It's not lined. So in the color, I think lightens up the outfit to make it more summer friendly if that makes sense i threw it on with a graphic tee this is from h m a recent purchase it just says the valley shout out to the kardashians out there and to kind of bring more of a fall vibe i threw on this faux leather vest from river island and this is something i've had for a while the other pieces are fairly new to keep that summer lightness and the casual vibe going i decided to pair the outfit with sneakers so i threw on my nike court legacies in the lift version and i think they're a great finish to this look it keeps the look overall lightweight and casual so basically we're talking about a faux leather skirt a graphic tee i threw a vest on top to add it an extra layer but this is an easy and really cute summer to fall transitional outfit as far as a bag i'd probably do something crossbody so i pulled out this little nine west bag that i've had for like 10 years because ideally this is how I would wear this outfit. Just something hands-free and I think this is so, so cute. Great little transitional look. And if you don't want to go with sneakers, you can always go with some cute slides, like some double strap slides or the Chanel um, sandals would be cute with these, the little double strap ones or some knockoffs of those. So yeah, a lot of ways you can go with this. Faux leather skirt and a graphic tee, really great transitional look. And if you add some layers, you're certainly bringing that fall touch. So yeah, love this one. I'll link these pieces and some similar pieces if any of them are low in stock. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to another look. Another great thing to have in your wardrobe for that summer to fall transitional period is good lightweight suiting. And H&M has a really, really great collection right now. I also have some really great pieces that are recently picked up from Nordstrom. They're like a cute little matching crop top with the striped pants. I love these types of pieces for this period because they're lightweight. It's not heavy suiting, it's not wool suiting, but it also comes in like cute little crop tops and low rise pants. So you can show a little midriff and have some fun with these types of pieces. All of the pieces that I am wearing are from H&M. And as you can see, it's a navy blue blazer, navy blue crop top, and navy blue striped pants. These are like a wide leg pair of trousers. The blazer runs a little oversized. And I got my little crop top to kind of bring some dimensions into the outfit. I decided to go with sneakers on this one as well because I don't know, I'm just a sneaker girl when it comes to this time of the year. Like I wear sneakers a lot in the summer and so kind of like transitioning into fall, I'm still going to kind of rock them. And so I went with my navy and white Nike Dunks because I think they're a really cool kind of chill finish to this outfit. But you can certainly do some heels if you want to, but I think this outfit is better off finished 
with the dump nation okay <laughs> threw in a simple white bag and yeah i love this look like i said these types of pieces are great for this time of year because let's say again you need to layer throughout the day you have this blazer which you can always just kind of take off and wear the little outfit underneath and then later on if it gets cooler you can throw the blazer back on so really really cute outfit for that summer to fall transition i will link these pieces as well as some similar options that i found like i said i have another similar outfit from nordstrom that's in gray and it's also pinstripe so i'll link that as well but yeah so cute so easy so chic i'm feeling very summerish but i'm also feeling very fallish got you on that one didn't i <laughs> Okay, we are on our last summer to fall transition outfit idea and I like this one a lot. This very well could have been one of the first ones because your girl loves sweatshirts. Yes, I love sweatshirts year round. I am the kind of person who will wear a sweatshirt in 80 degree weather because I dress the same all year long. But yeah, I'm not putting up my sweatshirts no matter what season it is because I just like them so much. But I think there is a grown up way to wear them. And basically that's by dressing them up with some cute jeans, some heels, throwing a bag. Yeah, that's kind of the more grown up way to wear it. Throw on like a button down shirt underneath and kind of let the collar pop out. That's my way of kind of dressing up a sweatshirt. And that's basically what I did in this outfit. This sweatshirt is from Fashion Nova. It is embroidered. It is so, so nice. And my friends and I are actually planning a little trip to the Hamptons. We're working on it. It's probably gonna be about a year out, but we're working on it. We've been talking about it. And this sweatshirt will definitely be in tow because it's so cute. But I paired it with this white button down oversized shirt from Fashion Nova. It is so wrinkled because you already saw this shirt in another look with that cargo skirt. So it's kind of wrinkled, but that's okay. This is kind of a casual, chill type of look. And that's why we have on super distressed jeans. These are by Frame Denim from Nordstrom. And like I said, to dress it up, I went with heels. So I threw on these strappy red heels. These are by INC from Macy's. Threw in a red bag because I think red and navy go together together really well and since the sweatshirt is navy I thought some pops of red would be perfect for like that summer to fall transitional type of look but yeah super cute outfit sweatshirts are a great transitional piece because you can use it as a layering piece so you can start off with it tight around your waist during the day and then later on as it gets cooler you can put it on so love that about a sweatshirt very versatile item and yeah can be dressed up just with heels like I did <laughs> super cute I hope you all really liked all of these looks and that they are helpful for you all as we move into that awkward weather period during the summer to fall transition Thank you all so much for checking out today's video featuring summer to fall transition outfit ideas. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked all the outfits that I put together. I wanna go ahead and insert some additional Pinterest inspiration right now. These are additional outfits that I think are great for that summer to fall transition. Like I said in my intro, it can be an awkward weather period. Sometimes the weather can be completely unpredictable. You'll get rainy days, you'll get sunny days, you'll get warm days, you'll get cool days, you'll get windy days. And in those cases, it's hard to know what to wear. So I hope my outfits helped you all i hope this pinterest inspiration will help you all to know what pieces are great when you are thinking of that summer to fall transition especially if you're trying to slay like your girl right here so i hope this video was helpful of course i've linked all of the pieces that i shared in my outfits in the description of this video as well as all the information that you need on today's video sponsor native like i told y'all native has just been a critical part of my get ready process ever since i've discovered their deodorants and all their other products I've been hooked and like I said, the biggest compliment I get is on my scent. I get it at work, when I'm in my uniform, I get it when I'm at the gym. I had a guy recently at the gym tell me, gosh, you smell so good. Like, and Native really is one of the contributing factors to me, just smelling so fresh all day. So I would encourage you all to check out their products. They basically have what you need for the entire body and for the entire family. So make sure you use my QR code on the screen or click the link in the description. Use my code 10 ways three to get some percentage off your order, but make sure you check out Native. And if you are in into like unique scents and whatever you're into, I promise you they have something for you. They've really been doing a great job curating their scents. And I just love that they have so many scents that are ideal for fall, that are warm and sweet and deep. 
girl check out native but thank you all so much for checking out the video make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go if you are not subscribed you will definitely want to join the family I like to keep you cute all year long not just for fall but all year long girlfriend and I also like to share a little bit of lifestyle and travel here and there so make sure you subscribe to keep it exciting on your YouTube feed and I'll see you all on the next video love y'all